Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to my channel Mobile Gamer and also welcome back to another how-to video. So today guys, I'm gonna show you how you can install the Ultra Instinct mod on the Dragon Ball Z Shin Budokai PPSS PP later game. Or simply we can say that how you can install the Dragon Ball Z Shin Budokai 6 which is already having Ultra Instinct mod and also some other the mods. Other the mods? Some other mods. And it's a pretty good game so let me load the previous let me go load the save file because save file is really necessary otherwise you have to complete the game to unlock the modes so as you can see guys today uh, we are having here Super Saiyan Blue Kaioken and Super Saiyan God and of course Super Saiyan Blue Ultra Instinct and of course the Master Ultra Instinct form so and we are also having the normal ones as you can see Gohan even having the Super Saiyan Blue form so it's gonna be pretty fun playing this game and let me show you the Vegeta's form and even Vegeta's having the Ultra Instinct form which is pretty good in this game and it's gonna be really fun guys seeing Vegeta versus Goku so how will you do that for that you need an ISO file which I'm gonna put in the description just you have to go to that link and download the RAR file extract the ISO file from the RAR and put it on your PSP PPSS PP emulator and if you don't know how to do all these things I already did a video on that so you would only have to click on the above card link to see how it's done and I highly recommend you to watch that video because if you don't you're not gonna able to understand anything I'm gonna tell you in this video so I highly recommend you if you don't know anything about PPSS PP emulator if you don't know about ISO games if you don't know how to play PSP games on your mobile phone then watch that video I highly recommend you watching that video so for that how you will get this game once you have downloaded the ISO file you have uh, when you once you are having the ISO file just go to PPSS PP and as you can see guys here that my default language is not English it's something other language I think Espinal and there's a reason behind it why I've chosen Espinal because let me show you guys if you guys are having English as your default language then it's high uh, there are really high chances that this is game not gonna run on this type of PSP emulator as you can see guys there's nothing showing up on the screen is totally black if you put uh, if you click on any of the buttons it's not gonna run but if you click back you can see that the game is loading but nothing is showing on the screen that's why you need to change your uh, what do we say your default language to epsonal because this game is encoded and is in epsonal I know it's gonna be pretty tough for you guys to understand Epsilon, but you can remember the controls from the previous games of Dragon Ball Z Shin Budokai, Shin Budokai 1, Shin Budokai 2, Shin Budokai and another roles, there are a lot of them. Once you have changed the language, just click on start button rapidly and you'll be able to see that now the game is working perfectly fine. And as you can see guys, there are no lags, nothing like that. But the game quality totally depends on the quality of your phone, how the phone you are using or on which device you are running the game. But my phone specification are 3 GB RAM, 64, 64, no sorry, 32 GB internal memory and stuff like that. And it's working perfectly fine for me. And now once you are having the game, you cannot play through Ultra Instinct mod, uh, Ultra Instinct enable Goku because you have to unlock these mods. And it's pretty tough to unlock because it's already in some different language we cannot understand. So for that you need a save file. And I already put it, the link is in the description. I, I, I'm I telling you guys that just go to that link. It's a Mediafire link, it's a safe link so there's not gonna be any ad or something like that. Just go to that link and download the save that does the save data and uh, that's it. Once you have downloaded the save data, you gotta extract the files from the RAR file. Of course, it's gonna be a RAR file which you're gonna download. And once you have extracted that thing, then you have to put that file into your PSP folder and inside the the save data folder. Let me show you guys how you are gonna do it. So let's go back and let's go to file manager where you're gonna download just go to the path where you have downloaded the save data and let me scroll and search for that where is it 
and here you can see guys it is save data wofg.rar let me highlight it yes there it is you once you have this file you gotta extract the save data file from this rar file and if you don't know i already told you guys go and watch my that video which i've already told you because you really need to watch that video before doing all these things and then just extract this save data file and paste it on the destination of PSP as you can see guys scroll down here and here you can see the PSP folder here the save data and inside this you gotta paste your save data or the file you're gonna get after extracting the RAR file which you have downloaded and just let start this game oh this is there's a problem just start this game again and just click on the start button rapidly as to start the game and the game has been started just skip all the intros and let's here you can see the cargo or something like that you have to click on this and just load the save data file you are seeing here and once you have loaded the save data file you will be able to play it through any character you can choose any character you can choose any mod as you can see that uh, any form actually as you can see that is having everything here it's Goku Z and he's having only Super Saiyan 3 but here's Goku and he's having Ultra Instinct and also Master Ultra Instinct form and also you can see that Vegeta is also having Ultra Instinct form so it's gonna be pretty fun playing through all these characters and playing through all these forms of the characters which is gonna be pretty fun so this was a quick video or the quick tutorial for how you can play or how you can install the Ultra Instinct mod or how you can install the Dragon Ball Z Shin Padukai 6 so if you guys like this video make sure to give it a big thumbs up and if you are new to our channel make sure to subscribe to it so that you can never miss another update from Mobile Gamer and see you guys in the next video so until then take care and let's drop that beat